kids, how are you? It's the tree again. What a beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Um, anyways, I had a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, some people that have been writing me, Cheryl and Black, wrote me the suggestion about um, why not, you know, get the people to donate the blood to the Sangarians because, you know, they need the blood um, for their biology. Um, well, um, I think that until we can figure out how to get, you know, the ones that are going to become the Sangarians that will become Sangralians, the one who choose to protect life rather than destroy it, um, will eventually be appear here in their own skins, you know, the reptilian form. But for the time being, the ones that have the human bodies need the blood to stay anchored. And so um, she had the suggestion that, you know, people could donate blood. And I was thinking because, see, when they um, do the rituals and stuff and they instill terror in their victims in order to get something released, a chemical in there that which gives them what they need or something, of some rush or something. But I'm thinking if people gave the blood with love, because um, like like I said, the people that won't take the red Sangarians that won't take life get their blood from the Red Cross. And so um, I was thinking that, you know, if people gave the blood with love, then the love, you know, would, the energy would be in the blood and then that would probably get them higher than and make them feel better than any of the other type of blood. Um, so Cheryl and Black, excellent idea. And uh, my roommate brought something up to me today about our brain. Our brain is the best alchemist there is. It can produce all of the medicines and all of the um, healing and everything that we need to do anything with it. So, you know, the brain is the ultimate alchemist. So that was a really good thought. Okay, when I say Illuminati is my name, there's Illuminati. And then there's Illuminati tree. The Illuminati tree means you, all of us, together, a family, saying grail, the real. Um, and um, then I will protect you. I will protect you guys with my life. Um, okay, I wanted to talk to you about um, Pendar. He told me, okay, before he left, Pendar, he was the leader of the Illuminati, the head of Queen Elizabeth and stuff the main reptilian and the body that he inhabited died so he's trapped in the fourth dimension right now but um, we can probably bring him through and get him back and communicate with him if my master mason will respond and cooperate but like I said you know the last few times it's only been you know after the body he inhabited died it was like for a couple minutes and then the last time was like 30 seconds you know to be able to keep him through because there wasn't enough energy but since I have the compatible aura and so does my master mason that's why we're able to produce you know he's able to come through but I was thinking maybe we could get the right people together, you know, to form a circle around us, you know, and hold hands and stuff and all produce that energy and everybody together, you know, from love in their hearts, you know, and stuff would we'll probably bring enough energy for him to come through long enough to have a nice, long, solid conversation with us. But he tells me he hasn't taken life for over 1,200 years. And he also tells me that, um, that in order to get their energy, um, that they have to have sex all the time. And... With, in, with animals and children, okay? I'm like, and I'm like, my God, you know? And, and, um, but he still continued to do that. And so right now he's in the fourth dimension, which he thinks he's not hurting anybody when he has six sense with children and animals. He does it nicely. Well, I, right now, I guess, you know, until he can, we can figure something out, he's better off there. Because I don't really think he needs to be back here doing those things. Um, I mean, I plan to bring him back somehow and get him back someday, but not the, the what worked before will never work again. But anyhow, my master mason, Michael Rogers, see, he inhabited Draken for 20 years. And um, so, you know, his body, you know, the reptilian, and, because when they put a reptilian in a human body, they don't make a habit of taking him in and out and in and out. They stay forever until the body dies. Okay. But in this case, because Draken was removed because he chose to protect me rather than do what he was told with his orders under the Queen, which was do some type of mind control and brainwashing on me and stuff, and they took me away to Tonopah for three days. Um, but uh, he, um, so Draken lived in him for 20 years, and then Draken was removed, and then Michael was back, and like Michael's, his memories, you know, like, you know, he'd remember going to the groves and stuff, you know, and he'd think, you know, I'm like, Michael, look at when you go there, because I let Pendar would write me letters, and he would say, "Well, these are um, the same," um, or he says that there's something they do with the mind control to make him where he forgets everything that happens there because of security reasons. 
and stuff in a, you know, so the mind control is a real big thing. Like, Kendra was able to um, put suggestions, like, in his surgeon's minds. You know, I even went to the surgeon. He had certain operations done on him because of, they were trying to transfer Michael's aura into some other body. The Pendar could inhabit when the body he was inhabiting was wounded before it died, you know. And I, we fought about this back and forth, you know, and I wouldn't let him do it. And uh, so, anyhow, Michael, my master mason, his body, um, be having the reptilian in him for that long, became conditioned to having to have blood and the sex of children and animals. And so, my master mason is not um, indulging; he refuses to indulge in any kind of sex with anybody, any children, animals, anything. And uh, you know, in the blood, he did, you know, so his body is um, suffering terribly and a lot of his illness and pain and he's dying, literally, because uh, he is still, his bio, bi biology has been altered. I wish I could find a real surgeon, the right surgeon that didn't have um, allegiance under the Illuminati that would do the true brain scans on my Master Mason and show all the chips in his head. It's full of them. One day in the channel and stuff, when he was through, he started telling me, or Drake, and he started telling me of the chip numbers, you know, of all the different ones, and he told me that Michael's brain was like a, um, it wasn't even pink anymore. It was like a, a gooey, thick green color, you know, like or like a gray green color, and he said that you have to go way deep under in order to even find any pink tissue at all in his brain. But see, um, the surgeons and stuff, I don't know if you guys know anything about MK Ultra and, um, the uh, eugenics and all the different things that are going on and stuff and that have been through time and stuff but basically any surgeon or any doctor um, uh, that has um, well but most of them are in their secret societies one way or another but there are certain special surgeons which are scientists which are um, under the Illuminati which see these certain people like the Sangarians so that um, because their biology is different. If a Sangarian is having a human body and stuff, another thing that he showed me too is um, the uh, test your was it for blood pressure? You know, for diabetes, he tested his blood pressure or something. And um, the regular humans, I guess, is like 70 to 120 or something like that. But when Draken was in Michael's body, it would be like 250, 300 be the number and he said that's another way but anyway they all have their own surgeons you know which are under the Illuminati which work on these people and also a lot of people um, what does Arizona Wilder call it DDI or, so I think that was it um, for people who are in the Illuminati that are under mind control that do things that don't even remember what they're doing and they have switches you know like a certain hand signal or a certain gesture or a certain sound or something that will tap them into another part of their mind where they'll go out and do things and not even remember it, you know, and then click them back, you know, it's like missing time and stuff. So a lot of people that have missing time and stuff, chances are you weren't abducted by aliens, chances are you were working from another altar in your mind, um, doing something else, and a lot of this is controlled. Even the post office shootings and stuff that they had, you know, and stuff like that, that's all experiments, you know, with the mind control, but the mind control is a huge huge thing with them, like the buzzing in your ears and HARP, H-A-A-R-P, and um, NASA, um, the Human Genome Project going on in the moon, uh, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, okay, so anyways, my Master Mason refuses to indulge in any of that stuff, and plus of all the things that they've done to him by torturing him, and plus trying to transfer his aura, and, and you know, all the different things, he's in so much pain, and he's so confused and you know so many things he forgets a few times he's come back and didn't even remember who I was you know but I've tried to keep him, inform keep him informed on what's been going on and stuff but and I tried to film the chant with him once and he refused to let me I go it'd be just for you you can have the disc but that way you can see Michael what happens when Pendar comes in you but he refused to do it stubborn um okay so Pendar when he was before the body he inhabited died you know he was thought that he was going to be able to get better and heal again and uh, well, it didn't work out that way, but he told me that when he could, that he would show me pictures of deaths that Queen Elizabeth is responsible for that is more gruesome than logical. Okay, and stuff. So, I'm almost out of time. Okay, and that, um, anyways, he died. Or, well, anybody, I can get in access to all of this if we can get Pendar back, which I need my Master Mason to do. Am I really out of time completely? Okay, peace out. I'll be back. I love you.